Hello everyone and welcome back to more Let's Play Star Trek Online Lega uh, <laughs> Lega Legally of Romuli Reg <laughs> I cannot speak today Legacy of Romulus um, We are continuing our look at the Romulan faction And um, in our last video we spent a very long time upgrading our ship And upgrading our characters and everything to Mark VI level gear and uh, someone did mention um, I do use the exchange a lot to buy things yeah I like to use the exchange because you really have a good variety of things and you can then pick between if you want uncommon or rare or very rare items and then you can even pick you know um, different modifiers that sometimes you can't get out of the vendors sometimes the vendors are locked into specific modifiers that they allow you to have um, but you can get a greater variety on the exchange. Uh, so the exchange basically just gives you better variety. And since I have the energy credits to spend uh, f on that, that's the way I choose to go. Obviously, you can obviously use the vendor to purchase stuff as well for energy credits or dilithium. And uh, there are options there as well. So either one. Wherever you get your stuff doesn't really matter. What matters is how you equip your ship the type of things you use, the type of modifiers you use, and um, how you build it all up. So, we are continuing the Romulan storyline, and we are still in unique Romulan missions, which is great, um, at level 20, uh, and we are, remember, with the Tal Shiar now. We are technically spies for the Romulans, and we have joined the Tal Shiar and are doing things. Um, so in the last episode before last sleepers, we met some Borg and the fact that the Romulan or the Tal Shiar are interested in Borg technology. And a lot of people reminded me that this is all taking place way before the actual mission that we have that relates to this in the Federation storyline because in the Federation storyline there is uh, a few Romulan missions that deal with the Romulans you know looking at Borg technology and um, and then they make a ship and we destroy it uh, this takes place way before that um, but I still stand by my statement that it's not shocking that Romulans would be, or the Tal Shiar or Romulans or anybody would be looking at Borg technology. Borg technology is the thing to have uh, in, you know, even in this time period, um, it's still Borg technology is, is up there with some of the most advanced stuff. So all the races really want to gather and learn about Borg technology. So it's not just the Romulans. So it's really not a surprise to me that the Romulans or, or the Tal Shiar are looking at Borg technology because I know everybody is. The Federation is. I'm sure the Klingons are. You know, it's like, that's what you gotta do. Alright, it is time for the next mission now, Cloak and Dagger. The Tal Shiar raid a colony to find a wanted criminal. Will you help or hinder their efforts? Very interesting. Uh, we get to decide if we want to help or hinder their efforts. Um, objective. We have word that a colony in the Delta Corvi system is harboring several fugitives. Among them is a man named Vrimic, who has close ties to the Riemann separatist movements. The Tal Shiar is going to show the colonists the consequences of treason. You will act as part of the advanced force that will shut down the colony's sensor grid. Once that is down, their planetary defenses will be useless, and the rest of the fleet can move in. Then we will land a ground force and round up the colonists. By this time tomorrow, this colony will be nothing but a memory. And we get beam array, plasma turret, console, ooh, and a diplom- ooh, we get a couple of uh, duty officers. Chef, a refugee, and a diplomat. That is cool. Are we really going to help the Tall Shiar invade another Romulan colony like ours? Uh, I'm not sure I'm comfortable with this. Your objections are noted, but apparently that's what we have to do, <laughs> so we're going to. 
Alright, so let's get out of New Romulus, and I cannot wait to take our new, um, technically Valdor heavy warbird into combat. A Valdor looking like a Mogai. Alright, we need to go to the Delta, Delta Corvi system, which I've got no idea what sector or block that's in, and it didn't tell me, did it? did not tell me where the heck this thing is at so I don't know it's probably in Sivalorum or something let's just transwarp there oh dang that's 12,000 energy credits ah, that's a lot let's see if we can find it on the map then hmm well I got no idea where it's at I could spend all day looking for it but this this ship right here instead is having a seizure. Um, oh, it says right here it's in the Iota Pavonis. Ha! Huh. Dumb am I. So we'll go to Iota Pavonis. That's way up there. Along the way, we will add some Doffy missions. Lots of rare diplomatic ones available to me here. We'll just start those up. Good, and we'll warp to here. And then we'll go to Alpha Centauri. Okay, those are going. So, yeah, look at our ship. It looks so sweet flying through space. This has been the one I've been waiting for. Let's see. Oh, I can finally add some skill points now. They've opened up the other side, but I want to finish this one first. And let's see where I'm going to go here. Um, finish that up, and then I guess that's all that I will... Oh, no, structural integrity. I've got to have structural integrity. So we'll do um, shield systems and then structural integrity. And that'll finish out the Centurion column. Okay, now we're in Alpha Centauri. Now we can go to IOTA because it's way up there. We were far away. This reminds me of the old days of just sitting back and um, waiting for your ship to travel sector space <laughs> to each system because it was so slow and um, it actually took time and felt like a journey. Leveling also used to be a lot slower so things actually took a lot of time And I hear somebody making a lot of noise. Now you see, if somebody were to give me diplomatic immunity, I could at least go, go to warp 9.9 .9 or whatever. Warp 10. Uh, we're almost to Iota now. Coming up on it.
And I don't know what I'm going to do in this mission, if I'm going to help him or not. I'm thinking that I will, because I'm this character is the goody-goody character. So he'll probably help. Maybe. We will see. There's a board cube. Okay, there's the Delta Corvi system. I don't know if I've ever been to that system before. It might be a new system. But, uh, yeah, this Mo guy is sweet. Just can't get over it. I like it a lot. Maybe one one time we should try these uh, this red alert. <laughs> I can show you what it's like. I don't know if they're very populated anymore. They used to be when they first came out. I don't know if people are still doing them or not. And we got another Mogai here. Valdor it looks like. Or no, it's a Mogai. And uh the other ship. Alright, begin Cloak and Dagger. Let's get this show on the road. Oh, they got something going on here. This is unique. Some kind of grid around the entire planet. Ooh, I want to do, let's do We need to do that to Earth. <laughs> Put like a detection grid around Earth like that. It'd be so cool. Sir, we are being held by Commander Levesque. He is the leader of the advanced force. Welcome to the Delta Corvai system, Subcommander. We are here under the guise of a raiding party, but our primary objective is to bring down the sensor grid so our invasion fleet can get into position before the colony is aware of their presence. There are a few colony vessels patrolling the area. We need to take them out first before they can alert the surface of our presence. Once any nearby colony vessels are destroyed, then you can disable the sensor grid substation. I'm sending coordinates for the substations you are responsible for targeting. Captain, I've marked the two substations we're responsible for disabling on the map. Are we really doing this? Are we participating in the invasion of a Romulan colony? Helping the Tall Shi'ar? Remember what happened to Viranet? Hmm. Well, we don't have much choice. I'm open to suggestions, but we need to maintain our cover if we're going to stop the Tal Shiar. The other Tal Shiar ships will be monitoring the sensor grid and colony patrol ships to make sure the invasion isn't detected. If we disable the colony ships and then punch a hole in the sensor grid, we could beam a small away team to the surface without the other Tal Shiar ships noticing. Once on the surface, we can tell the population about the impending invasion. It's not much, but it would be more warning than we had. Let's take out those substations. All right, I need to do alpha and beta. I guess after we destroy the enemy here. Okay, I am officially in love with this ship. And that's not even dual heavy cannons, that's just dual cannons. <laughs> wow, that was pretty sweet. Yep, I like our ship. There we go, there's a base. Let's do a spread and see how that works. Wow, look at it go. That was sweet. Nice. 
knives. All right, disable the s sensor thingy. Yay, we did something. All right, now let's do the other one. Sweet. Yep, I like our ship. <laughs> what can I say? Um, wow. We have a big enough hole in the sensor grid to get a transporter signal through without alerting the other Tall Shiar ships in the area. The crew can keep up appearances here in orbit while you warn the populace. Ready to beam you down with an away team? On your orders. Yeah, I guess as long as we don't get caught, we'll be alright. Have no choice, gotta do it anyway. The other Tall Shiar ships haven't detected your presence on the surface yet. But you won't have much time before the rest of the invasion fleet arrives. Vrimek is the Maori. You'll need to convince him to evacuate his people before they arrive. Vrimek. Alright, we need to find Vrimek. Who are you? Where did you come from? Are you Vrimek? Yeah, you are Vrimek. I will leave nothing but ashes. So, Riemann, you are Tal Shiar. Guards, summon anyone. I'm not Tal Shiar. I'm working undercover for the Romulan Republic. One of Tatan's agents? What are you doing here? The Tal Shiar are taking out your orbital sensor grid as we speak. There's an invasion force on its way. You need to evacuate your people before they get here. A Tal Shiar invasion? I feared this day would come. This time, however, the Tal Shiar have chosen the wrong colony. No one will leave the planet alive. What do you mean? Um... Ev uh, what did he say? Everyone has a what? Everyone here is committed to living free or not. Oh gosh, they're gonna blow up the whole planet or something. Blow themselves up. The Tal Shiar will die. I have a certain contacts among my people. The Remans have become much more aggressive about protecting their interests since the loss of Criteris. We are more willing to use measures that would have seemed unthinkable in the past. One of these measures is Thaleron weaponry. Oh, that's going down Hakiv's path there. Hidden underneath this colony is a Thaleron weapon large enough to destroy all life forms. On They're going to destroy themselves? What? When the Talshiar land on this world, the very ground under their feet will burn. A planetary Thaleron bomb? You might kill the Tal Shiar, but you and your people will die as well. It is a fair price. Uh, no it's not. I've seen what happened to Crateris and other colonies at the hands of the Tal Shiar. I suspect you have as well. Death is preferable to the fate the Tal Shiar has planned for us. And without the sensor grid, death is our only defense. We can still evacuate this colony and save as many people as we can. We have to try. I will delay the detonation to give you some time to organize an evacuation. But it will only be a delay. We must detonate before the Tal Shiar discover the weapon and attempt to disarm. I will meet you at the shuttle pad after I am done here. Help evacuate the colony. Leave the office. Wow, they're going to destroy themselves. I did not expect that. The invasion Whoa. has started. It's like Kiranad all over again. And we help to make this happen. Yeah. We need to rescue as many colonists as we can. Grimek will want to detonate that bomb sooner rather than later. Don't... But that ship, is that Romulan or is that the Alachi? Or the Tal Shiar, I mean. I don't know, I'm confused now. But apparently we have to... Um, Gotta do some stuff here. Load and protect and evacuate shuttles. But don't they detect my presence now? I don't know. Well, I can't take out the Tal Shiar. They'll know that I'm... Why are they attacking me, though? Am I not on their side?
I don't understand why they're attacking me. I thought I was on their side. They should, like, trust me until I put a phaser to their face. Now what? Now I go to the shuttle and do what? Okay, oh that one, that one's gone. Look at that, what's going on over there? What is that? It's like War of the Worlds up in here. I'm dead. Okay, people, go. Alright, I have to defend the shuttle. Yeah, we need to defend the shuttle. I got it. I'm waiting. Waiting to defend. Okay, that's another one gone. Two more to go. I'm really surprised that they don't know I'm a traitor yet, or whatever. Spy. Look at all these Tal Shiar I'm killing.
Fin shuttle. Okay, that is three time for the last and I'm lost. Well, that's a lot right there. I cannot go around them. Crap. Another group. be the last people. Now we just need to defend this shuttle and then we can get on to the next part. Protect the shuttle. Will do. Come on, where are they? Where are they? There they are. Hey now, that wasn't nice. Awesome, we did it. We helped people escape. We've done we all we can and saved as many colonists as we could. It's time to go. Remek is waiting for us at the final shuttle pack. I don't see any other Tal Shiar here though. I think we got them all. No need to burn the planet now. Thoron weaponry. I am ready for death. Well, maybe you are, but I'm not. The Tal Shiar are close to controlling the entire colony. I'm arming them. No, they're not. They're not even close. I destroyed a ton of their groups. Alright, well anyway, I've evacuated most of the colonists, but are you sure you want to do this? Are you sure you're not a Tal Shiar agent? I will not give Sela and her minions the satisfaction of taking this colony with ease. They will fight and bleed for ash and rock, and then they will die. Do what you feel you must. <laughs> Blow the planet to kingdom come, I guess. Confront Levick. See, I knew it. Levick. Yeah, he was bound to find out what we're doing in that fact that we are here. Come on. What am I going to tell him? Am I supposed to be uh, still on the Tal Shiar side? What's going on here? I don't know. Let's see. What are you doing here? Are you helping these colonists? I'm taking you into custody. If you're fortunate, you'll only be punished for insubordination and failing to follow orders. 
I, however, will be pushing for you to be charged with treason and aiding the enemy, which I was, if I was part of the Tal Shiar, which they think I am. Anyway, I'm not going anywhere with you. Oh, great. I have to fight him. I want to fight him, really. So is this whole straight over now? I've vaporized him, so I guess he won't be telling anyone what happened here. That's one way to do it, isn't it? Then what am I gonna tell the other Tal Shiar? Hmm, I don't know. But I vaporized him, <laughs> so that's something. Oh, he really did set the bomb off. Dang. They are on radiation to the entire planet. That's a first. It's done. Delta Corvi has been erased from the map, along with the Tal Shiar invasion force. We told everyone to rendezvous at our ship. We'll meet them there. I don't know how to thank you. Our colony is gone, but my people, no one would have survived without you. Yeah, except you, apparently, Vermic. Ah, there you are. This is the Empress. It's time we spoke. Prepare for transport. Sila. Holy crap. Where'd she come from? I have to congratulate you. We've been trying to catch Vrymac for some time. Vrymac, I guess. Liar. Coward. You said you would protect me. You said you would help us. Well, I... I'm sure many things were said. It's your fault for believing them. Well... Deception is a means to an end. You were a threat, and now you are not. And my friend here is a loyal agent of the Tall Shield. A lot of twists and turns here. Tell her it's not true. Tell her you would rather die than be her puppet. I have to pretend to be on her side. I am Tal Shiar. Tal Shiar scum! I should have killed you when I had the chance. Now that he's dealt with, let's talk about you. Me? I need someone who sees the bigger picture. Who understands more than Slow just walk. blind loyalty to Hakiv. I think you're that person. I'm upgrading your security clearance. Upgrading? You will have access to our most restricted locations. Why are you... Wow, she was... careful where you shine. Really, trust me. There are things in the dark that don't want to be found. I have access to their highest stuff. Why did she... have gone any worse. Why did she give did me exactly all that power? exactly what Sila wanted, despite our best intentions. We even advanced our standing with the Tall Shi'ar. I don't know. Perhaps the greater good will outweigh this tragedy in time. Even if it does, we've still made an enemy of Rimek. If he survives his interrogation, that is. Are you ready to leave yet? I know I am. Well, a lot of twists and turns in that mission. I like that a lot. First, you know, we're going, obviously, we're pretending to work with the Tal Shiar, and then we go and we help Vrimic get his people off the planet and tell him we're a Deton agent, and, um, you know, he believes us, and that's all good, because we are. And we end up saving him, but then out of nowhere, Sila pops up. I had no idea she would pop up. And, in a, and in a way believes that we have captured Rimmick for her and so she takes him and we have advanced our our, um, our standing in the Tal Shiar actually um, except now Vrimic is captured and will be tortured and uh, we have made an enemy of him uh, even though we aren't an enemy of him and Sila has given us access to her highest uh, ranked security system stuff why I, I mean, uh, why would she do that? Why would the tell? Why I don't get that? Because they don't know me. I've only been, I've only done a few missions, a couple of actually like two missions with them or whatever, or three. Um, she's awfully very trusting for a Tal Shiar agent, that's for sure. Um, but does this mean now I can like scan their computers and get all kinds of information and learn about 
things. That would be cool, but we'll find out, I guess. Anyway, I, get, I got to do a little bit of space battle there with my ship, and I love it. Not even using dual heavy cannons yet, but even with just the dual cannons, this thing is pretty rocking. Okay, let's hail New Romulus. This is Talmera. I can't believe Vrimic detonated a Thaleron weapon in the atmosphere to destroy the Tal Shiar invaders. It's tragic what happened to that planet, but the Tal Shiar should never doubt the resolve of people willing to die to be free. And it's unfortunate what happened to Vrimic, but the Empress herself has taken an interest in you. That's dangerous, but it's also an opportunity. You now have clearance to delve into the deepest, dark darkest secrets of the Tal Shiar, which I find odd, but okay. Because most of the Tal Shiar are, like, paranoid. I'm, I'm, I don't know why she's not paranoid with me, but anyway. Come through these archives and see what you can find while we wait for Janik to make contact. contact. So we're getting a ton of stuff. Plasma Beam Array, Mark 6, Accuracy. Plasma Turret, Mark 6. Damage, Console Engineering, Victorium, Mark 6. Refugee, an Advisor, and a Chef. Why not? We need a chef. Congratulations, sub commander. We are now sub commander 21. Um, go to the DOF system real quick. Yeah, there's no uh, diplomatic missions there right now. Wow, so that was pretty interesting. And um, I do have some stuff here. Of course, I don't need the beam array. I'm not using beams. I'll sell it. This was a turret. But it was a turret with the damage modifier, and I'm actually, I've got two turrets with accuracy, don't I? No, I got one, two, what? no, both of them are damage. So what's this one then? Is this one a current, f oh, no, that's forward, so aft, so they're all damage. Well, it doesn't matter, then it's the same. Now this armor would be useful if I had another engineering slot, which I don't, but I'll save it. I'll save it, and I can sell the rest of that stuff. Well, that was a very uh, interesting episode and um, we still got plenty to go under the in shadows here we've got revelation next and then mind games and then of course temporal ambassador which is a shared mission between all factions but the two unique ones left is revelation and mind games sounds like we're gonna get into some interesting stuff here in the next couple of episodes so um, Stay tuned. Thank you for watching. And